I was three years old when I was diagnosed with sickle cell disease. I definitely thought that I was headed in a direction um, where I might not make it and that my sickle cell disease was going to be fatal. Sickle cell disease is very painful, very uncomfortable. So a lot of children um, with sickle cell disease don't experience such chronic pain. And about time you're into your 20s, that's when a lot of the damage from like the acute episodes really start to take a wear and tear on your body. And you start to develop just the, the chronic pain and like the chronic issues. A lot of my pain is like a a constant ache or a throbbing pain and it all depends like a stabbing pain where in the body it kind of manifests. I was in school and I really didn't know how to get it under control. I first met Dr. Field um, at the end of 2010. From the moment I met him I just knew like this was going to be the guy to transform where my life was at that time and the, where it could possibly go. We started with the transfusions in January of 2011, like hitting it every four weeks so that I could start to feel better and I could start to feel some kind of hope. Getting the blood regularly changed my life. I found out I was pregnant in May of 2015. You're kind of told at a young age that having children isn't a possibility. So the fact that I got through so successfully was amazing. So he does have sickle cell trait, but that doesn't mean that he can't have a normal, healthy life, which he will. I hope that my son and I can have a long future together. I know for a fact that I wouldn't find the kind of care that I receive here. And um, the Blood Center of Wisconsin is one of the best blood centers in the country, if not, if not the best. I feel like we're moving in the right direction with sickle cell research. Obviously, I hope for a cure.